It's black and white. Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to turn a straight drone shot into something like this. So yeah, it's got like the speed ramp effect. It's got a nice, um, like a helicopter swoop effect, which is pretty cool. When I'm actually shooting drone footage, I try and shoot in uh, just in straight lines. It gives you way more options when it comes to editing. And if you shoot in 4K, then you can crop in and you can move it about and you'll still have like really good quality. So yeah, the first thing you want to do is stabilize it. And that's just going to smooth out any little bumps or little vibrations that's got from the drone. The next thing you want to do is add the speed ramp effect. I'm going to put the marker where I want the speed ramp effect to happen. And I'm just going to hold shift and press B. And then I'm just going to change this shot to times 20. And then that's going to create the speed ramp effect. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is use the transform tool just there. And we're going to go right to the start of the shot. You want to click on the keyframe button right here. So now all the movements and resizing we do to this shot throughout the, throughout the clip it's all going to be added to the keyframes and it's all going to be recorded. Okay, so from the start, we're going to zoom in and move it up. And that's going to be the start position for this movement. And then what you want to do is go right to the end and have your finishing shot. So what I want to do is I want the bridge to be the main subject, especially this last kind of bit of the bridge. So what I'm going to do is move the bridge more into the center of the shot and then I'm going to zoom in until we have no black lines or anything on the side of the screen. So I'm also going to use the rotation button here and that's going to give it like the sort of twist effect. Okay so now we've got a bit of movement added to the shot and the speed ramp effect. You might notice but the the movement of the shot doesn't match the um, speed ramp. So what you want to do is click on your shot, click on the transform button, and then if you click on these keyframes, you'll notice you get these curve editors. So what we're going to do is use these to manipulate the, like the movement of the shot to match the speed ramp effect. So if you go to quite near the beginning of the shot, and then you just want to move these move these things about until you kind of get the effect you want so so now it moves down towards the front of the bridge and then goes up so that's pretty much almost how I want it but it doesn't quite match the speed ramp just yet The sharper the curve on these things, that's going to give you like the quickest change in motion. And when you've got a really quick speed ramp going from like normal speed to really fast, then you want to create a really sharp turn in the curves here. That's looking pretty good. So I'm not actually worried about these black bits on the bottom and top because I know when I add the letterbox effect, that's just going to cover it up. So that's, that should be fine. And now what I'm going to do is just add an adjustment layer. And to this adjustment layer, I'm just going to add the letterbox effect and my color correction. So if you're still uh, unsure of what an adjustment layer is and like using LUTs and stuff like that, then check out my other videos. I've got a video about downloading adjustment layers and how to use them and stuff like that. So yeah, check those out. It's a really useful tool uh, to use in Final Cut Pro. If you like the look of this uh, LUT that I'm using, then there's also a video on this. It's a free download, so you can download that LUT if you like the colors. So let's have a look at the finished version of this shot right here. So yeah, it's a pretty cool effect, considering it's just from like a dead straight drone shot. 
before I end this video, I'm still looking for this week's featured subscriber edit. So if you want to get your edit shown on, on the channel this week, then tag me on Instagram. If I like it, then I'll send you a message and you can get it featured on the channel. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Now I'm for you.